Hey there, raise your hand if you have ever spent money out of your pocket to buy something for your classroom. That's a lot of money out the window. My name is Kenyatta Davenport and I am an instructional coach from North Carolina. And I am here to let you know in to let you in on a little known teacher's secret weapon. Donors choose. Let's jump right in so you can hit the ground running to use donors choose. The mission of Donors Choose is to make it easy for anyone to help a classroom in need, moving us closer to a nation where students in every community have the tools and experiences they need for a great education. Our agenda today will talk a little bit about what Donors Choose is, my own personal funding story, how to get started, tips for success, and then we can brainstorm and create some ideas for you to create your own Donors Choose present, uh, project. So what is Donors Choose? Donors Choose is a national nonprofit that helps connect citizen donors to classroom teachers in order to equip their students with the resources and experiences they need for a great education. They work with a huge network of citizen donors, corporations, and philanthropists to bring your classroom dreams to life. Their ultimate goal is to help teachers stop paying out of pocket a mission we can all seriously get behind. If you've used Donors Choose, give a holler. Wow, that is a ton of teachers. Teachers love Donors Choose because it's an easy way for them to get what they need without paying out of pocket. It was built by teachers, with teachers, for teachers, and it's one of the only places where lovers of public education are literally waiting to support classroom projects. Most projects on DonorsChoose.org get a donation from a complete stranger, someone who believes in you and your students. It's like a surprise high five on a busy day. Elizabeth Munt sent in this quote, Donors Choose is so easy to use. It's made especially for teachers and supporters of education. So it draws a unique audience that is committed to teachers and students. So step one, basically you create a classroom wish list by shopping at our reputable vendors like Amazon, Best Buy, Lakeshore, School Specialty, or Staples. You write a short description of your students, what resources you need, and how they will be used. Here's an example of a Donors Choose project. This particular teacher, Ms. Karpowicz, she wants flexible seating for flexible minds. So look, basically, she's looking for comfy floor seats. Step two, your project then goes live on our site. We activate our network of donors while you share the project out with your network. Step three, once the project is funded, we purchase the materials and ship them straight to you. Finally, no fundraising slips, money collection, or long grant writing process. That's a lot of happy teachers and students. Our impact. Donors Choose has been around for 17 years and has had a huge impact on classrooms across the nation. The Donors Choose community has raised over $600 million, funding almost a million projects. 77% of all the public schools in America have at least one teacher who has posted a project on Donors Choose. In my classroom alone, I've gotten computers, Chromebooks, monitors, snacks, note cards. You think it, you name it, I've probably gotten it. library books, headphones. I've even gotten professional development opportunities. All of those things. I've had 72 projects funded since I began using Donors Choose and they total to over, over $21,600 in funds. So how to get started? Are you ready to tap into that funding? Getting started on Donors Choose is super easy. First, you go online shopping through the platform at awesome vendors. Some of the most popular are Amazon, 
Lakeshore, Staples, and School Specialty. Then you write a short essay explaining who you, who your, who you are, who your students are, how they will use the materials, and how this will bring their learning to the next level. Once the project is approved by a team of teacher volunteers, it gets posted on the site and you can start your fundraising. This process might sound long, but I promise it's short and easy. So I'll break it down for you. Start by creating an account on Donors Choose. It's easy and free. It takes most people only about five minutes. Once you confirm your email, you are set to start accessing that classroom funding. Brainstorm what your virtual classroom needs. Do Finish these sentences. To do their best work while learning remotely, my students need what? What would make it easier for me to teach while my students are remote? Then you go and you cr create your classroom project request. Project requests can either be standard or professional development. Professional development is tied more to you. Student project is more tied to the students. Then you select the age group of your students. If you are a K-2 teacher, then you will want to hit kindergarten through first or second. If you work directly with eighth graders, choose eighth grade. And then choose the number of students that this project will serve. Now you have a project idea, so it is time to get to work. Is it wobble stools, Chromebooks, or new classroom library books? Once you have an idea, the shopping process is super easy. It feels just like online shopping. You find what you need and you put it in your cart. You'll be directed to a list of vendors that Donors Choose partners with. Some teacher favorites, again, are Lakeshore, Amazon, Best Buy, Staples, and School Specialty. A great pro tip is to comparison shop, just like you would for any other purchase. So Ms. Callaway from Callaway, excuse me, Ms. Walls from Callaway County High School suggests that when you write a project, you keep the price low, which is a great idea. If you can keep it to a minimum of $200 or less, then you will more than likely get funded. Remember, your project has to have at least $100 in the cart in order for it to be posted. You will then write your project essay. You tell donors a bit about your students and your project. Make sure that your title is captivating and eye-catching. This is your chance to give supporters a glimpse into your classroom and why you need the materials you are requesting. Make sure that you do not include the school name or any easily identifiable information. Donors who believe in education, believe in Ms. Fagundes, or just love gardening and, their, and add their support to her project. Donors Choose or, or, the, or other organizations across the country match that donation. A special thing they do is that every donation up to $50 on your first project is matched for the first week. The more you share within your network, the more donations you get. Once your project is fully funded, we, they purchase the materials requested and they are sent directly to the school. Most projects are eligible to be shipped directly to the home, school office, or the home of a student. So a few tips for success. Remember, low-cost low projects have the highest chances of success. Keep your project here, it says 600, but if you want to keep it under 200, those are most likely to get funded. Now, that does not mean don't write a project for 600. There's always a possibility that you can get funding for more than that. I always like to have like a, a magic wish list up there. So, for example, right now, the last project that I had funded was for national boards. National boards is not cheap. I put the project up for two components. Each component is $475. So that pro project was funded. Um, but it is a good idea to have a huge, I wouldn't say a huge, but a nice wish list just in case somebody comes through and they decide to do a flash funding initiative.
One part that teachers sometimes worry about is how they will get their project funded. Almost 80% of projects on the site are funded. And with these teacher tips, your chances of getting funded go up a ton. The first tip is that lower cost projects have a much higher funding rate. Try to keep your first project at $600 or below. Next, check out the funding opportunities that are available. Just last month, Donors Choose offered funding opportunities through their partnership with the Gates Foundation, Lady Gaga's Born This Way Foundation, Macy's, and General Motors. The most important step is to share your classroom project in your network, on Facebook, email, or on flyers in your community. Getting the word out is crucial. Also, make sure that you check your match offers before posting. These are excellent ways to get the most bang for your buck. If there's a 50% match offer, if every dollar turns into $2. So make sure that you check out the DonorsChoose.org backslash match offers. Or if you're a part of the Thomasboro Donors Choose Google Classroom, I post the match offers there every month as they come out. So here are a few project ideas. Miss Arla is requesting books for her students to read while they are learning from home. Miss Kelly is asking for model magic to send home to her students so they can create art while learning remotely. Miss Smith is requesting earbuds, lap boards, and pencil pouches that her students need to be successful during remote learning. Ms. Padilla is asking for books to support her third graders in learning about Pompeii and Rome. Mrs. James created a project for stamps, cards, and items to send to her students during online learning. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email is kenyatta.davenport at CMS. You know the rest. Please, if you have any questions, if you need any assistance, make sure to reach out to me. So go ahead, get started, create your first project.